we go. Uh, let me get it. Uh, let me go back. To, let me read James three. Uh, James three and fifteen again. Uh, this wisdom descends not from above, but is earthly, sensual, and devilish. Yeah. So they 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 have earthly wisdom. Okay. They don't have the the, the wisdom and knowledge from 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 on, from up from from on above. Okay. Given by Yahweh Bashim Awashah. Okay. You have to be humble and meek in this truth. You know. You have to. You know, or the Lord will take it away from you. Okay. Uh, Proverbs. Get a precept to to James three fifteen. Proverbs. Proverbs sixteen and eighteen. Precept. Pride goeth before destruction. And in haughty spirit before a fall, you know that's that's point blank period. That's that's straight to the point, cut and dry. You know, you know a lot of a lot of men, you know, uh, come into this truth with a, with pride, okay, and um, it's not good to have that. You know, you have to have the fear of Yahweh Bashim Awashah, okay. You have to understand that not a not a bird falls from the sky unless the, unless Yahweh Bashim Awashah sanctions it, okay. You got to understand this. He controls the left hand and the right hand. He controls Satan. And he controls good. Okay? Hebrews 5 and 12. Next precept. Book of Hebrews. Chapter 5. Verse 12. For when, for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again. Right. So, you know, the elders and apostles of the great millstone... You know, we we give double honor to them because we know that they are the 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 we we know that they are the prophets sent among uh sent among us, okay, uh, and they have the hundred percent truth sent by Yahweh Bashim Awashah, okay, and we don't buck up, okay, we just be be quiet, we learn, we study, we look up words in the Hebrew and in the Greek, and 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 we teach with truth and sincerity. You know, the Lord has to be dealing with you. You know, you just can't come into this thing and be puffed up with pride because, you know, it'll be to your own demise, your own destruction. For when, for the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of Yahweh, and are and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Right. You know, the men of the Lord uh, that's coming in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim we have that this we have that that discernment uh, between good and evil. Okay, we know who 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 the wicked is, okay, Job 9 and 24. Okay, we know who the devil is, okay? Esau Edom. Okay. Uh uh, uh Malachi uh Malachi uh, chapter, uh, the book of Malachi, I believe Malachi 1 and 4, you know, um, Esau Edom is the border of wickedness. Okay, those are precepts. Okay, we're going to go to the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel 13. Ezekiel 13 and 10. Because even because they have seduced many people saying peace and there was no peace and one built up a wall and lo others daubed it with untemperate mortar okay untemperate mortar the definition of that is foolish tasteless okay unseasoned whitewashed okay so you have a lot of you know foolish prideful tasteless unseasoned people in this truth you know you have to really be seasoned. You have to really study. You have to really put precept upon precept. You really have to, the Holy Spirit has to be dealing with you. You have to be humble and meek. You know, you have to be, you have to pray. Okay. You know, you can't get puffed up in this. And uh, uh, the men of the Lord, um, you know, the prophets of Yahweh Bashem we are, 
the main prophecy that we're focusing on and that we're we're we're, we're definitely uh, zeroing in on, and we know that it's right around the corner. This jab is a precursor to the RFID Marco chip. The mark of the beast is the RFID Marco chip. Point blank, period. No way around it. Okay, you know, so. You know, we're here to prophesy that because that is that is one of the major, the biggest prophecies coming up, okay, that's going to lead to your salvation. Because if you take the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip, you're going to be destroyed, okay? You're going to be, you're going to be destroyed by the nuclear, nuclear missiles, okay? And, and, and this devil is, 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 is going to deceive a lot of people. This devil is going to destroy a lot of people, okay? Because they don't understand the scriptures. They don't understand that the ending was foretold in the beginning, just like the serpent in the garden. Who deceived Eve, okay, and deceived her to uh, make her uh, Eve and Adam to fall from from paradise, okay? It's the same thing going on, okay? Deception. The serpent is subtile, okay? The serpent is a nation, a nation of people, and the Lord put enmity between Esau and and Jacob, okay? The serpent seed and the righteous seed, okay? That goes all the way back to the beginning, okay? You, you have to be in the spirit to to see these things. Okay. Let me just let me just bring it out. Let me just go to the Revelations. I gotta bring it out. I gotta bring this out. Revelations 13.